welcome back to Modern Life for the 70s Mind. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. You know, sometime during the early 70s, I think it was early 70s, I found the band Grand Funk, Grand Funk Railroad out of uh, Flint, Michigan, I believe they were from. Right out of the gate, I knew that these guys were something special. I can't even tell you how many times I cranked the A-track of uh, We're an American Band in my car. And I'm pretty sure I blew at least one set of my Jensen coaxial speakers while playing that exact album. And I'm not even kidding about that. I had an equalizer hooked up and man, Grand Funk Railroad would come on and I would just like take that equalizer, turn the bass all the way up, turn the treble all the way up. And the speakers didn't stand a chance. Hard to believe I have ringing in my ears and I can't hear anything these days between that and all the concerts I went to. But I think of songs like Black Licorice, uh, Creepin' was on there, uh, uh, Walk Like a Man was on that album, and especially We're an American Band was just a song that I always just cranked. All just great classic rock hits. Prior to that album, I believe in 1970, they released an album called Closer to Home, and it's been a long time since I listened to that album. It wasn't one of my favorite albums, but there was one track on it that was really good. I kind of recall that a lot of those album songs on that album almost had like a southern rock feel to them. Not all of them, but some of them did. And the standout of that album was clearly the last song on the album called I'm Your Captain. And over time, it stood out as one of Grand Funk's most iconic songs. One of my listeners by the name of Renee, hey Renee, asked if I could react to a 1971 live cut of this song, which was recorded in Shea Stadium. There's no way I'm going to say no to that, because I just think this band is, is too good. So, let me get my headphones on. We're going to check it out. Be right back. Okay, we are back. I am excited to hear this song. If by chance you like this song and my reaction to it after we're done listening to it, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. So let's listen to this. This is Grand Funk Railroad from Shea Stadium in 1971 singing I'm Your Captain. This is going to be good. I have no doubt. <laughs> Mark Farner was the lead singer of Grand Funk. I love crowd shots. I think I had those exact gym shoes <laughs> or something really similar. There's my people. <laughs> yep. We had momentum back then, folks. <laughs> Good rock and roll voice, didn't he?
All right, this is as good a place to break as any. We're almost halfway through it. Oh, it's really good seeing that. I love seeing the people. Why, 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 for the love of God, why did not did we not have the recording capabilities in the 70s like we do today? Can you imagine how many amazing performances we've missed out in like high quality sound? Oh, that would just be crazy to hear all these things in the same sound of sound as we would today that video had really an amazing 70s feel to it and those shots of the crowd uh just perfectly summed up what those concerts not only looked but felt like Ugh. i did see them in the 70s and they sounded amazing for a 70s live cut with a lousy recording this sounded remarkably good. <laughs> that just tells you how good of a singer Mark Farner was, as well as how talented these musicians overall were. Remember, they were only a three-piece band at the time they recorded this. So to get uh, sounds like that out and sounding so rich and full as much as you can on a recording like this, that was pretty amazing. So let's play this to the end. I'm enjoying this. people <laughs> um how does that not take you just back to the 70s those of you who lived through the 70s and, and attended concerts you have to just feel that i mean i i feel like i could just step into that without any problems except my steps are a little harder to do these days 
uh, I think this song had such a um, more energetic and maybe dynamic feel to it than the studio version. These live cuts just really seem to bring out the rock and roll, don't they? You know, 70s music didn't have that polished feel to it like music does today. It just had a, back then it just had a more raw and authentic feel to it, I guess. And that's what really makes listening to 70s music, I just think, so special. These old cuts find a way to really just transform us back to the 70s. And that's the fun of listening to these things. Maybe, you know, thinking about it, maybe they're best that they're not perfect in a, in a recording sense. As the newer recordings, just, it would be different. I just think, I don't know. I just think this song did such a great job of dumping us into that era of the 70s. And I just don't think a newer recording sounding perfect would have that same feeling to it. It's got to be kind of dirty and gritty. So I, I enjoyed that a lot. Did you guys like this? I hope you did. Renee, thank you so much for the recommendation. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. So that's it. Remember, only life is priceless. Please make each and every day count. And I'm kidding because I have final thoughts. Hold on. <laughs> I almost forgot I had to do final thoughts. Hold on. <laughs> I think that was the worst ending in the history of YouTube to a video that really wasn't the end. Um, sorry about that. I forgot I do final thoughts. I'm kind of mixing things up here real quick since this is probably the last video that I'm going to have like an introduction. Normally I have like this introduction, then I do the reaction, then I have final thoughts. I think I'm going to skip that introduction and just go right into the video from now on. So this may be the last one where I have that beginning segment. So I think it's, it just kind of confused me and I was thinking I was done and I really wasn't. So with all that said, sorry about that. I am so lucky to have grown up in the 70s with really such amazing artists. Any of you that grew up during that time period maybe didn't appreciate it back then. But now, uh, especially when you see kind of the direction that music has gone, you, you, you realize, wow, we really grew up in a wonderful time for music and something that will just be inside of me till the day I die. One of the things that kind of makes this song unique um, is that it almost has like kind of like two parts to it. The first half definitely has that rock and roll drive to it, like we we just heard here. Halfway through the song, they though they get into that whole "I'm getting closer" part, and that really slowed things down, at least temporarily, because even that built up right up until the end of the song. It just felt like two parts, and to me, that kind of keeps the song interesting, especially when listening to it now in the 2020s. When this song came, initially came out, as you can see in the video, there were only three members to this band. I know they added a fourth, uh, I think just prior to releasing We're an American Band, which in my opinion kind of gave the band a fuller sound. And that's when I saw them when they were a four-piece band, not a three. Watching these guys play, I was kind of watching them, the interactions between the band members. I didn't see a lot of intense interactions except for one time when they were interacting with the drummer. Um, instead, they just seem to be quite focused and just singing rock and roll. They just seem more relaxed and spontaneous. It didn't have to be perfect. Mark Farner sounded great. And if you're going to try to pull off a three-piece band, you better have a strong lead vocalist to kind of front you because there's no way you're going to do it with a weak vocalist. Mark was, I think, exactly that. He sounded great back then. And I think as a band in some form, uh, there might be some different members, I'm not sure, but they're still playing today. I know they recently got involved in something with Kid Rock or something like that. I don't know, I don't know the specifics on that. Maybe you guys have more information on that. But from what I understand, they're still kind of hanging around today playing some rock and roll, which is awesome. All right, so now... This is the ending, I swear. <laughs> and I already said, if you, uh, <laughs> if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Again, I'll repeat myself. This is very important. Only life is priceless. So please make each and every day count. Peace out. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>